as the question says a chain of length l and mass m lies on the surface of a smooth sphere of radius r greater than l with one end tied to the top of the sphere then find the gravitational potential energy of the chain with ref reference level at the center of the sphere b suppose the chain is released and slides down the sphere find the kinetic energy of the chain and c find the tangential acceleration dv by dt of the chain when the chain starts sliding down now here we are actually having a sphere and a chain whose one end is fixed and the chain is lying over here of length l while this sphere is of the radius capital r now let us take a random element at an angle theta if the length of this is dl then let this angle be d theta which is this element is actually subtending at the center so here we can have if m is the total mass of the chain then dm be the mass of the small element of the length dl which will be the density that is the mass per unit length m by l into dl and what is dl dl is simply r d theta because r into angle then it is r d theta so we have got the dm over here so for the first part we need to find out the gravitational potential energy now let us first find the potential energy for the element which will be the mass that is dm g into height what is height over here height is this one which is r cos theta we got it from here this is r this is theta so this is r cos theta right now total gravitational potential energy can be simply found out by integrating it that is integrated mg r square by l because we have put the value of dm from above cos theta d theta from 0 to l by r right this l by r is because we have taken the length to be r let this total length subtends an angle phi so what the angle phi will be because if the total angle is phi then we will be having r phi equal to capital n so phi equal to l by r right so that will be the limit giving us the total gravitational potential energy to be m r square g by l sin l by r proceeding with the second part of this question in which we need to find out the kinetic energy of the chain when it has slid through an angle theta now we know that when the chain is released from rest and slides down through an angle theta the kinetic energy of the chain is actually given by the kinetic energy equal to the change in potential energy so let us employ the same over here so we can write it as m r square g by l sin l by r minus this is the initial potential energy that is the total one minus r square g by l cos theta d theta now this will be from theta because it has slipped from the angle theta na so one of the end will be here at theta so the limits will be theta to l by r solving it it gives m r square g by l sin l by r plus sin theta minus sin theta plus l by r coming to the last and the third part of this question that is find the tangential acceleration 
of the chain when it starts sliding down here the chain has let us take a somewhat generalized case when the chain has slipped by an angle theta so there the kinetic energy will be equal to the change in the potential energy the potential energy we have found out in the second part for any generalized theta and what will be the kinetic energy it will be half mv square so we can simply write it down as half mv square equal to the potential energy that has been found in the part b right now let us differentiate this expression with respect to time okay now this is gonna give us that uh, half 2v dv by dt equals to r square g by l into cos theta into d theta by dt minus cos theta plus l by r into d theta by dt right now we all know that v equal to omega r so it can also be written as r d theta by dt so we will be putting the value of v equal to this r d theta by dt giving us dv by dt equals to r g by l into cos theta minus cos theta plus l by r now when the chain starts slipping there we have theta equal to 0 in the generalized case so we will be putting this theta equal to 0 in the above uh, received equation so we will be having the dv by dt which is itself the tangential acceleration equal to rg by l into cos of 0 that is 1 minus cos l by r plus 0 that is cos l by r 